Protesters have set fire to banks in months of anger over informal capital controls that prevent depositors from accessing their savings that devalue by the day. But banks say they are not to blame. They lent money to the state, which hasn't been repaid. Bankers say they are fighting for survival, as a government plan to rescue the economy is focused on restructuring the banking sector instead of restructuring the debt. They want to bankrupt every bank, and then they tell the depositors, uh, come own this bank in return for your deposits. The banking sector are practical, reasonable people, are willing to negotiate, to extend the maturity dates. Some see the government's plan as a ploy to change the country's free market system, but the government accuses the banks of financial engineering that brought them high profits. Each side is blaming the other for driving Lebanon into financial turmoil. There are significant differences in the estimated losses presented by the government, the banks and economic bodies. A committee has been formed to look into this so the burden can be fairly shared. There is a lack of consensus about who should bear the losses, which is weakening Lebanon's position as it seeks an international bailout. Foreign donors have told Lebanon the only way it can get financial assistance is through the IMF. The IMF insists on reforms which successive governments repeatedly promised to implement in the past. Prime Minister Hassan Diab says his government is committed, but it is yet to take a first step. Organizations that work for political reform and good governance say the political class, the power behind the government, hasn't shown a willingness to reform. This political class exercises its power first and foremost by controlling the judges. If you free the judges, and there are some fabulous ones of this country, and you allow them to apply the rule of law, then the trust of the citizen in its government will be way different. So this is, for instance, one of the structural reform that we're asking for for a very long time, and that is not moving along. Others say Lebanon is collapsing, as foreign currency reserves needed to import food, fuel and medicine are drying up. Zana Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut.